um, there's specific, let's say, characteristics that we can see makes really the difference. And, and we try to illustrate this here. Um, so we have a KOL, we call him Dr. Smitty. And we have our DOL, she's actually a nurse DOL, we call her Dr. Smith. So a KOL, a traditional KOL, and you might all know this because you work with them on a daily basis, they get invited you know, to speak at local or global congresses. You know, they might be actually quoted by his peers online because they might not have an account, but they still get quoted, which is very interesting. So it's a behavior we see a lot. Dr. Smitty, he's senior, like, you know, he's a professor of medicine. He leads a hospital division and he's very well respected specifically offline by his peers. So he has that, you know, like years of experience. One of his characteristics of Dr. Smitty and maybe of more, more of the KOLs are that he has published many research papers and articles. So this is something, you know, like where we can see he has a wealth of knowledge and experience. And what is something that Veronica touched on already is that a KOL, a traditional KOL, his influence is mainly in his country within his therapy area. So this is what we see. Let's look at Dr. Smith. She's our nurse DOL. So her influence is online where she uses a variety of digital channels. So not only not only Twitter, she might be on TikTok or Instagram or, you know, all those public social media profiles. And she actually shares accurate, trustworthy information, which is already a very defined metric. You know, if someone is a DOL, that comes across there's trustworthy information. I hope you know this. We actually made her um, by default a nurse, which is so interesting because the hierarchy within DOLs in digital space is very different than offline. Um, so she's a trained nurse. Maybe in the hospital, she's not at the top, but in the digital world, she's super respected. And she works at the hospital and a very um, great metric also to see here, she shares her firsthand experience. We see that a lot of the DOLs doing that, you know, they're sharing their experience, their, their knowledge, their what is happening today. They experienced something, they tweeted, they posted out there. She's super active on Twitter. She writes actually her own blog. She has also podcasts and she explains complex health topics. Another metric we see, you know, that they're trying to break down some of those complex health topics and sometimes making it also available for patients to understand. And then here comes kind of the global influence. She is connected, you know, to other stakeholders all across the globe, you know, like HGPs, patients, payers, journalists, you know, like all different health stakeholders. But yeah, she, she has that global network. 